Hello guys, back again, and sometimes it's fun to look at, you know, changes in, in the gaming, video game world, uh, due to the fact that one company takes a step, and then the other one takes another step, and it leads to some changes, and the, this, today we're going to talk about game engines. Uh, at GDC there was an announcement uh, basically for the CryEngine and the Unreal Engine 4. Uh, why similar announcements, uh, the programs are in some ways very different. Now the Unreal Engine 4 announcement was that they're going to a subscription model, uh, you can there will be a subscription model available for 19 bucks a month you can use the Unreal Engine 4 starting today immediately but they also get 5% of your gross revenue of your game so if you're somebody who's on a tight budget who can't afford like you're, you're really living on a shoestring budget you're an indie developer and you make your game and you don't think you can afford to pay the 5% it's gonna affect you then you may not decide to do that. We're on the other side, the Cry Engine from Cryotech announced that they'll be doing a ten dollar a month subscription model. And that basically uh, their engine as a service goes and starts in May and that there will there is going to be a uh, STC uh, version of it free for non commercial use uh, development for the engine. And so you got two complete, and, and the CryEngine will not have any kind of royalty-based thing like the Unreal Engine 4 does. What's funny about the Unreal Engine 4, and of course the article's concentrating on this, but Epic kind of concentrating on like you could make, for high-end Minecraft uh, video, you know, people who play with high-end Minecraft players who want to make great videos, you can use the Unreal Engine 4. That was just kind of a weird thing to me to, to, to do, you know, point out that game. And don't get me wrong, it's popular, there's nothing wrong with that, but at the same time, you know, that just seems like a weird thing to analyze when you could just say, you know. So both games will give you both engines, you know, all the tools with it for, obviously, CryEngine for 10 bucks a month with no royalty fees, and you got Unreal Engine 4, 19 bucks a month with a 5% gross revenue fee. The difference is that Unreal Engine 4, as of today, you can do that model where Cryotech, the engine as a service, doesn't start till May. And it is is it is cool for, like, this makes the, those, for some people, like some people say, well, they, to get those engines weren't incredibly expensive, in your opinion, but at the same time, for someone who's an indie developer who doesn't have a big budget, a subscription model may be a way to go. And this, this allows them to, you know, get their engine to other people. Because right now, there is a war, whether people want to admit or not, of why some people say Unreal Engine is, not, is number one right now. It doesn't take much for another engine to come in and hog in. I mean, whatever engine is easier to use, and it'll be cheaper. If they're both basically, you know, for example, both the engines basically do the same things very well. But one's cheaper than the other. Of course, someone's going to go to the other one. But obviously, there's plus and minuses to both these engines. And most people are probably going to just simply go with the one they're most comfortable with. But this is more bigger news for indie developers, who a lot of times couldn't afford these game engines because of the expense and now they could possibly afford these and this could help in developers game development uh, making better games so it'll be interesting to see how this affects everything how this shakes out uh, these game engines with this and obviously this is just one of these one of these had done this obviously maybe it was cry seems like crytek kind of reacted to what uh, epic did by announcing theirs too that they both announced them now and we'll see where the chips fall It'll be interesting for game development how this affects everything. So my question is, what do you think about the fact that both these game engines are now, you know, you know basically subscription model? If you were going to make a game, which one would you use? Do you think this helps indie development? I think this does help game development. I do think this, uh, for especially like pe first time people making their own game, or maybe they're striking out on their own. This lowers the expense and the barrier of making games. That can compete with the high-end companies that, you know, the, the big companies like the a stuff, that this allows a more even playing field in a way for the smaller people to, to have the same tools as the big companies do. Anyway, enough of me talking, guys. would love to hear your opinion. I will talk to you guys again later. And thank you guys for liking, subscribing, and favoriting. I really do appreciate it. I'm trying to see where the stop button is because I missed it. Well, the cursor disappeared. Anyway, <laughs> bye for now.